Hello my lovely Trails fans, welcome back to our next episode of Trails in the Sky. Okay then, um, so we've got a couple of people now to go and speak to. Let's go see how everyone is doing. The fiends we've encountered in here so far have been fierce enough. The further we descend through the plains of this place though, the more dangerous they're likely to become. We're gonna have to keep our guard up. I'm so glad you're okay again. I was already worried about whether you were drawn here, but not knowing if you were okay was... Okay, I get it. Stop hugging me. Besides... Never mind me. You haven't been getting yourself hurt while I was away, have you? Um... N no I'm okay. I had lots of people looking out for me. Really? Well, that's good. Now all that's left is to save the other guys who ended up trapped in stones and get the heck out of this weird place. Next time you're heading out, take me with you. I don't feel like I'm going to get what's going on unless I can see it for myself. <laughs> Dang, someone's motivated. Let's see who's over here. We have every reason to believe that there are still people sealed in stones in this land that we have yet to discover. Whether that is somewhere in the local or on the next plane, I don't know, but we need to find them. So let's keep going together. We've now conquered all three of the ordeals that this garden's master mentioned. I presume that means our next destination must be the fifth plane. I wonder what kind of place that will be. So, all of the ceiling stones in that bracer training area contain braces in the end. That mass jester has thankfully proven to play by their own rules thus far at least. Oh, are we thinking this is... No, this shouldn't have anything to do with Campanella the Fool. His hair colour's different. Still don't know who this mask guy is. I need to check if there's any new books here. Okay, already read all of those. Nope, nothing new. Do you require something from me? N no Nothing in particular. So anyway, Estelle and I hurried there as fast as we could. Oh, Estelle's the name of this bracer I know, by the way. Phew. Well, she seems to have calmed down a little, at least. It's funny how the quieter ones are always the scariest once you annoy them, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh yeah, did we have a look at um, a Gates image to see what he looks like? Yep. Cool as usual. Uh, speaking of a gate, I always forget how to switch people around. Here we go. Um, let's just go ahead and grab him real quick. Because I believe... Uh, bring to me the girl skilled in orbital engineering. I think... So from the notes I have, these this door should have like a part two if you go in with a gate. Accompanied by an ever-burning flame. Okay. So let's head back and go and grab her again. Oh, okay. Uh I don't know if they'll have to do another fight before I send them in. But just in case they do, let's at least set them up for success. Let's go ahead and give her that. Go ahead and give her a tiger heart. Wait, no, 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 no. I want him to have the tiger heart. No reason I can't still give her something pretty good, though. Um... What, uh, let's go ahead with that, I guess. Give you the tiger heart. Um, I give you that, I suppose. Brace a coat. Let's go back to the moon door.
Brings you with the girl's skill, accompanied by the ever burning flame, only then shall the door open. View part two. See, I would never have known that this had a part two. Not, I don't think all of the doors do have a part two. I don't know if this is the only one with a part two, though. City of Zeiss. Oh, Erica is going to eat him for dinner. Bah, can't believe I'm going through with this. I should never have given in to pressure and promised to come here once a month in the first place. Having to adjust my schedule all the time just so I can come all this way to eat is such a pain in the butt. But well, whatever. I do owe her, I guess. What? what the heck? I just felt this horrible chill run down my spine. What was that for? Okay then. Doesn't seem like I've caught a cold or anything. Probably no big deal. Well, that's everything switched that needs to be. The machine guns are new models, so they could probably do with some tweaking. That's all of its armament strengthened. Its mobility is up 16% because of all the work we did through the night, you know? Ha! <laughs> okay! I think we should leave it like this for now, and take some data as if before we start doing anything else. Works for me. Ordinarily, we just settle for testing whether it can perform basic actions at this stage, then call it a day. But thanks to all of Titus' help, it's ended up relatively complete for a prototype. I think we could probably get away with doing a simple combat test using it even. And we should too! After all, it just so happens that we have the perfect guinea pig for it coming. Mom, Dad, um... Morning, Tita. Did you sleep well? Y yeah I'm feeling great. B but um... All I can picture in my mind is the sight of that red-haired hooligan crawling on the ground after getting the beating of a lifetime by the orbital gear. I can hardly wait to see it in real life, too. M mom I keep trying to tell you that a gate's really not a bad person. <laughs> Don't take what she's saying to heart, Titer. She could probably stand to discuss the issue a bit more tactfully. But I'm sure all she wants is to find out exactly what Agate's tr doing trying to worm his way to you in the first place. Uh, um... Oh boy, even Dad seems to have him wrong. Okay, let me explain this one more time. He might be sort of rude and blunt, and he does crumble every time he has to do something, and he has a bad habit of scaring people off easily. But he's actually a kind, good person, I swear! R really now? I'm starting to get a little worried about him too. What? Why? I keep saying he's really a nice person. Alright, time to go and get things ready. I'll leave the final adjustments to you, Dan. I've got something to take care of elsewhere. You're going then? That I am. I've heard more than enough. Something has to be done. The sinner must be punished with death. What? M mum where are you going? W wait Yeah No mum What in Adios's name is happening here? Are you alright? I'll live. What was Erica in such a hurry for? <laughs> Well, it's time for the testing to begin. 
You're not much less of an overprotective parent than she is, I'll have you know. Where is she? I could have sworn I saw her running this way. Where could she have gone? Probably shouldn't have arrived so early. Might as well drop by the guild and see if there's any work to do until evening. Uh oh. What? Is that just my imagination? The second I walked in the door, I felt like my life was in mortal danger. The only person here is that researcher there, so it must have been... Oh my, 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 what have we here? If it isn't, I gate Krosner. <laughs> I pity you, I really do. Come again? I never dreamed my target would come wandering in nonchalantly while I was making the necessary preparations for his execution. But that makes things easy for me, now I can tell you what I want directly. We've prepared a most perfect place to die for you over at the central factory. So come along, there's not a moment to waste. Who are you? You here to pick a fight with me or something? Not at all. This isn't a completely legitimate request I've made to the guild. Or more specifically to you. Like heck you did. No request like that would ever get accepted here. If you want to submit a request to the guild, you're going to have to come up with something a little better than that. <sighs> oh, you pitiful little... Oh, you pitiful flea. I figured you were a little thick-headed, but I didn't think your general IQ would be quite this low. You need to be more aware of your sins. What does this woman have against me? Her eyes are scaring the heck out of me. Clean out those ears of yours and listen well, moron. And this request is about testing the capabilities of the orbital gear by comparing it to you in a variety of situations. Which means that by helping us, we'll be able to improve it. <laughs> and in the process, maybe the unforgivable sins you've committed shall be... <laughs> Just what are you rambling on about, woman? Maybe you didn't get the memo, but the Bracer Guild exists to help people who really need it. We don't exist just to do any old thing someone feels like asking us to do. So I really haven't got time to be messing around with some crazy time waster. Hehe. <laughs> Is that the real reason you don't want to do this? Or are you just scared? Say that again? I can't find her anywhere in town at all, and she hasn't gone home. Just where could Mum have run off to? It's not my fault you're not listening to me. As I said, if you help with these tests, I might even be gracious enough to consider reducing your punishment. A little. That sounded like Mum. Could she be in the guild? If you want help that much... Tighter? Uh, again? What are you doing with my... Oh, and one more thing I want to make very clear right off the bat. You do not get within a s one cell radius of my sugar powdered donut under any circumstances. Are we clear, you shameless hoodlum? W wait a sec. Whoosh. Zoom the heck? What just happened there? She just up and ran off with Titer. I hope I didn't just witness her getting abducted by someone dangerous. You don't need to worry about that. Oh, a sub Gallagher. Her name is Erica Russell. She's Titer's mother. Her mother? That is Titer's mother? You've gotta be kidding me! Her parents came back here from abroad about two weeks ago now, Erica and Dan Russell. Their arrival was somewhat unconventional, admittedly. But they really are Titus' parents, I can assure you of that. Y you're trying to tell me that woman is related to her by blood? 
And with that mystery solved, would you mind if we get, got right to discussing work matters? Uh oh, yeah, lay it on me. I'm free until this evening, so if you've got any quick jobs that need doing, I can knock them out for you. Well first, there's this one from the Central Factory. They're requesting assistance with a variety of tests for a prototype of a new weapon called the Orbal Gear. Orbal Gear? Hold up a minute, now that sounds familiar. The guild has officially accepted the request that Erica mentioned to you earlier. It has your name on it, in fact. Ugh, I can't believe this. She actually submitted that as an official request. I don't know much more about this Orbal Gear than you do, I'm afraid. She merely described it as a weapon that combines the finest in LaBelle's Orbal technology. It's being developed by the entire Russell family together to boot. The location you'll need to go to is Zeiss Orbal Zeiss Central Factory. A new weapon. Wait a sec, you said the whole Russell family right? Not just the adults? Please tell me Taita isn't involved in this crud. I couldn't tell you, she didn't say. I've heard Taita was about ready to graduate from being an apprentice and become a full-fledged engineer though, so perhaps she is. Would her involvement be a problem to irrigate? Well, no, but... I've never met her parents, I've only heard about them from Taita, so it's not like I could pretend to know what they're like. But her mum's nothing like she made her sound, and she seems kinda... messed up in the head. If that cook's got Taita involved in... Kook's got tighter involved in developing some kind of new weapon. Put that request on hold for now, Killika. On hold? Don't give it to anyone else for now, I assume you mean? Yeah. I'm gonna go and find out what's going on. Don't even think of giving that to anyone else before I'm back. Alright, let's go around and talk to peeps. I was in the linen room earlier and I was weirdly shocked by what I found there. Someone has hidden a disturbing number of lamps under the shelves. I know who's responsible too. It's that Emma. What an Adios' name possessed her to buy that many of them. What are we ever going to need them for? I make a living buying ornaments, and this isn't my first time coming here to do it. Last time I did, all the power in the town went off, unfortunately. So I ended up going back empty-handed. I hope nothing happens this time. Maybe she's afraid of the dark and the oil lamps? She's probably preparing for that incident again. Ever since that time when I couldn't turn on the oval lamps in here, I've been worried about the same thing happening again. So I decided to make sure it couldn't by buying every single lamp I could get my hands on. Now I'll never have to worry about that happening ever again, right? Oh, well, it sounds like she just has more oval lamps. Well, that's not gonna help. Well, hopefully, uh, the orbital total shutdown phenomena will not happen again. What? Why is it afternoon already? I slept in again! Uh, I should have known my sister wouldn't be able to get herself up in time on her own. She's completely hopeless. Sounds like old Russell's stirring up trouble again. And if that's not scary enough, this time he's got Erica with him. Ugh, oh, I've never heard two bigger ingredients for a disaster than that. H hey, you need something? If you want to order something, go and speak to the new girl. I've left her in charge at the counter. Welcome, welcome. We're currently running a lunchtime special offer. Come on in and try out our delicious grub. The newbie working here is Randall's granddaughter, apparently. Her cooking's not half bad, and she's got a knack for dealing with customers. But thanks to her being around, the owner's gonna have an even better excuse to slack off. Oh good, she found herself a job. I can't remember what she was doing in the last game. Oh, she was working in the library. Just take a quick look, and then go with your gut. Choose the apple out of the basket that grabs your attention most, and you can't go wrong. These things are all about instinct. Hmm. Alright, I'll go with that. Hey, welcome to Bell Station. If there's anything you need help with, don't hesitate to let me know. We're aiming for this store to be loved by the community, and we'll spur no effort to make that happen. Taita won't play with me at all lately. 
She's always really busy with something. It's not fair. Daily Goods is selling like wildfire this month, which is great news for us. Ever since the orbital power went out before, lamps and stuff along those lines have been selling like hotcakes. On the surface, everything is back to normal, but it's obvious the unease in people's hearts is going to take a while longer to vanish. The Reinford company is working on expanding their lineup at the moment, actually. Personally, I'm hoping we can start selling their new orbital cannon here, but who knows if that will be possible. We'll have to keep badgering the owner and pray the stars line up. Hmm? Well, if it isn't a gate. What's going on, Gundolf? Not often I catch you stopping off at a weapon shop like this. <laughs> I'm not going to be in town that much longer. I'm due to leave on the next airship. Reports say it's going to be delayed from what I hear, though, so I've ended up with some time to kill. Heh, <sighs> busy as always. Not half as busy as Kurt. Still, my workload's gonna be going up before it goes down with all these braces scattering. First we lose Estelle and Joshua, now we're losing Kilika? We're really getting short on warm bodies. The thing about Kilika leaving was true then. Whatever. When have we ever not been short of people? We're just gonna have to keep our chins up until some new guys come and ease our workloads. Huh? Is it just me or do you sound like you have some specific new recruits in mind? Heh, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. That's a shame. I sure hope we do get some in soon. We could use all the help we can get about now. Oops, looks like the orbital engine's not in very good shape. No surprise with how hard I've been working this baby lately though. Let's get the hood off and take a look. So that troublemaker Erica is finally back in town, is she? It baffles me how that woman turned out. She used to be such a pretty little thing. When she was younger, she always used to go on about how she wanted to be a sister of the church when she grew up. Her personality was the same as it is now, though. Father Vixen told her flat out, not with your personality. Ouch. Denied by a father. Agate, I thought you were in a hurry. I was, but then I remembered something. I heard you were planning on leaving the guild and returning home. Indeed. That's still the plan, but the process of getting things ready for my successor has been taking longer than planned. As things currently stand, I'll be leaving at the start of next month. Right. Really not going to be the same round here without you. You've done a lot for me while you've been here. I suppose I have. Just be sure not to get poisoned and collapse again during my successor's time here. I could handle it, but you'd probably give them nightmares. Uh, I didn't do that on purpose, you know. <laughs> Whoa, a gate here. Hey Wong, how are things? I've been better. You familiar with someone called Erica Russell? I've heard she's as much trouble as Professor Russell, and I can believe it. Ever since she showed up in town, we've been getting more requests coming in than usual. You could call it a coincidence, but yeah. That's so. Erica's a little troublemaker. Darn, there sure are a lot of requests up here. None of them seem real urgent, at least. I can afford to leave them for now. I've got to get myself over to the central factory. You, I think that'll do for today's afternoon prayers. I'd normally feel bad about skipping work to come here and pray. But considering the factory chief is right here, I think I can probably be let off for it today, right? Oh, adios above. The time has finally come for the orbital gear experiments to begin. Please let them finish without causing any major catastrophes. I don't think I was supposed to hear about her departure, but I accidentally did when she was talking to Father Vixen yesterday. It's hard to believe that she's going to be leaving us. Sais isn't going to be the same without her. Oh, if it isn't a gate. Have you already heard about Kilika returning to Calvert? Yeah, I was talking to her about it earlier. I see. All of us in Zeiss owe some kind of debt to her, big or small. So I just hope that we can all come together to do something for her before she leaves us. Sounds like she's gonna be missed. So who's the mysterious person here? Was it Reese doing like some kind of pilgrimage there or something? Before meeting up with Kevin? Oh, 
At one point my husband was always out of the house for one business discussion or another. But lately he's been coming back home a lot more often. <laughs> Actually having someone to cook for makes it feel as so much more worthwhile. Part of my work involves selling airships to clients. But I've been getting asked a lot lately whether they just fall out of the sky if the flow of orbital power stops. I think they do? At least not immediately. It's uh, not a question I would imagine you would really need to know the answer to a lot of the time. Carl's new model of orbital guns finally going to be sold on the mass market by the sounds of it. He said he was in the middle of making the final adjustments to it so that it can happen. I can hardly wait. I paid a visit to Minoria Village over near Ruan a while back. It was quite easy to see why Irene recommended it. Oh, Irene sells flowers by the way, and there were beautiful flowers everywhere there. Now I know why it's famous for them. Much as I like living here, I'd love to live in a place like that if I could. I'm glad the domestic situation's finally calmed down now. My mother seems to have put all that what happened out of her mind and forgotten about it. But not me. I'll never be able to forget the sight of that flying structure collapsing before my eyes. I think I'll still be able to recall it even on my deathbed. Oh yeah, Ruon, I wonder how the replanting is going. I saw something absolutely crazy the other day. I was here selling flowers like I usually do when all of a sudden people started raining down from the sky. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. Factory ships in the landing port for the first time in a while. It's been going all over the place helping to get the country back in order, so it hasn't been here much lately. Phew, feels good to finally take a breather. I've been so busy lately, it feels like I've never stopped working. What's going on, Agate? Figured you'd swing by. Don't think I don't know why you're here. Last Friday of the month's always busy, huh? <laughs> hey, no need for that look. Yo, Agate, long time no see, huh? Huh? I wasn't expecting to run into you here. I heard you were busy as heck lately going around everywhere and getting LaBelle's orbital facilities up and running again. Haha, <laughs> I sure was. And after that, I had to hold myself up in Lysen Fortress and buckle down on the necessary repairs to the Arcel. Now that's done, so I'm finally back home. For the love of adios. <laughs> and oh, it's only gotten to get much worse from here. We've got the loading equipment back on board, so now we can get down to real work, salvaging. Trying to pull the Libel Ark out of the lake has been on the cards for a while now, but now we can finally get started on it. Just been too busy to get started on it any earlier, much as we wanted to. We're gonna be leaving port in 15 minutes. Ugh, this ship sure is busy lately. Right, I guess we've just got the factory to go to next then. If you happen to hear any strange shouts or loud explosions while you're here, just ignore them, okay? It's for the best. Just trust me. What? You're looking for Professor Russell? She passed by here not long ago, actually. I saw her boarding the elevator with Titer, but I'm afraid I have no idea where she could have gone after that. Uh, go to the bottom and work my way up, I suppose. W wait, I recognise you. Weren't you one of the braces on the Arcel? Yeah. I remember you too. You and the other engineers did a great job when it ended up falling out of the sky. Thanks again for what you did. <laughs> Think nothing of it. We were just doing our jobs. I was foreman in the underground orbit factory at one point, but now I'm going to be working over here for a while. Faye's in the middle of explaining the work she does here to me. Door is locked. You there, listen to my tale of woe. 
I heard Faye is going to be a mechanic on board the Ars Seal now. Which means I won't be able to see her again. No! Doesn't she already have a, a boyfriend who's a god anyway? He just likes the eye candy, I suppose. Factory Chief seems to be out, but I have no idea where he could have gone. I need him to sign these documents too. He's at church, he'll be back. My job involves training new people. How do I do this? Get them to clean up this room for me. Which means I don't have to lift a finger. Smart, right? I don't know why, but these bookshelves almost look dusty because of the textures on them. Wouldn't be surprised if they are dusty, considering how lazy she is. You're looking for Erica Russell? I haven't seen her today, sorry. If I haven't, though, it makes me wonder whether she's finished that project she was ploughing through. She's been hogging all the equipment to herself to work on it lately. I wonder how Freddy's doing right now. I haven't heard from him since he went back to Roland. He was... A heck of a kid for one so young. He's gonna shake things up as re as a real skilled artisan one day, if you ask me. Phew. So good to finally be done with all the repair work on the R Seal. It feels like forever since I was last back here. Although, thinking about it, there's still the adjustments to be made to the engines, so our work may not be quite done yet. Ray was able to produce a plant capable of soothing people in a mere three months, which is pretty amazing. I still can't believe he was actually able to do it. How did he even pull it off? He's barely even did any selective breeding at all. Well, I think all of the greenhouse experiments are basically done now. Which means it's time to start work on my next project, making an archaism modelled after Titer. <laughs> time to start with drawing up those blueprints. I just mum's eyes creeped me out when I saw those, but this guy doesn't seem to be in his right mind either. Maybe I ought to stop him too. Yeah, that's really creepy, that the fact that he wants to make a robot version of a... I think at this game she's about 14? That's really creepy. Erica's back, I hear. She's quite similar to her father, and poor Murdoch's got the grey hairs to prove it. He's rushed in here demanding something for his stomach pain more times than I can count at this point. Yeah, she's either 13 or 14, I can't quite remember, but not neither of those ages are appropriate for that kind of talk. I swear, he's only just finished getting the capel bag up and running and he's off working on a new invention. It really is amazing what those Russells are capable of. They seem to have limitless energy when it comes to technology. You remember that whole orbital shutdown phenomenon thing that happened? After that was over and we switched the capel back on, it ended up malfunctioning on us, erasing all of the data on the thing. All of it! It's taking us two whole months to get it back in order too. Ugh. It's one way to wipe a hard drive. Related topics, universal tech. Oh, I don't want to read all that again. Okay, nothing new on there. I guess the last place to go is the roof. Bah, just where have those two gone? Can't find them anywhere. Hey there. You must be a gate. Who's this guy? He doesn't seem like any ordinary engineer. Oh, I get it now. You're done, right? I seem to remember hearing you were a bracer at one point. Oh, was it Cassius who told you? Uh oh. No. I've just heard some stuff about you from Titer and her grandpa. 
<laughs> right. Actually, he quit the whole bracer thing about ten years back, didn't he? Makes it right around when Cassius joined. Can't imagine him being as much of a lunatic, but who knows. You guys are developing a new weapon, right? I heard you've got Taita helping you out with it. That true? Oh, yeah. She's not just a simple assistant, however. She's a formal member of its development team. Titus has become so much more capable over these past couple years. I don't even feel like there's all that much I can teach to her anymore. Ugh, I was right. What the heck have you guys got your own kid doing? Hmm? I know you're busy and that you can't afford to be back home here that often. And I know the little squirt loves Orbal Tech, so part of me gets why you'd want her to help with whatever new stuff you've got in the works. But that doesn't make it okay to let someone that young work in developing a new weapon. Use some common gosh darn sense, man. <laughs> What's so funny? Hey, Gate. Do you... Do you trust her? What's trust got to do with this? I don't go trying to change the subject on me. What have you got her doing? I've heard a lot about you since coming back here. And with that, there's just one question I want to hear the answer to from you directly. Now it's my understanding that you've been keeping her company quite often while my wife and I were away. Is that because you feel she's unreliable? Or maybe just a coincidence? Or is there some other reason? Just what have you been trying to achieve by being with her so much? What? what? I wasn't trying to achieve anything. Guess if I had to give an answer. There's no denying how much she's helped me. I'll admit, at the start she seemed like she could do jack all, and I stuck around to protect her. But she never actually needed it. She ended up doing way more for me than I ever did for her in the end. So yeah, I guess when I put it that way, I do trust her. Your daughter's pretty darn amazing. I see. Okay, so he doesn't seem to have as many screws loose as his wife. I can probably give him a pass, right? Look, I'm guessing there's some special reason Taita ended up involved in developing that weapon of yours, right? Mind telling me what it is? Yeah, there is. Well, I suppose it couldn't hurt to tell you. You're familiar with Rene from Ouroboros, right? Y yeah The crazy strong little girl with the huge robot. Couldn't forget her if I tried. Taita told us she's friends with that girl, which sounds insane, I know. Nah, it's not. She doesn't talk about it, but I know she is. Feels like she's going to unnatural lengths to avoid the issue even coming up, too. That makes explaining this a little simpler. The Orbal Gear project was begun with the aim of developing a new kind of weapon that could compete with the society's advanced military technology. Eventually, we hope to end up with something that can even go head-to-head -head with Padermater. As soon as she heard about what we were planning to do, Taita told us that she wanted to be part of it, of her own volition. At first, Eric and I were strongly opposed to the idea. It was Taita who insisted she wanted to do whatever she could to keep the connection she had with Rene. She wouldn't take no for an answer. She insisted this was something she could do for her. From my perspective, her intention isn't actually to talk Rene down or anything along those lines. She just thinks that by participating in the Orbal Gear's development, she'll be able to keep thinking about her. The project connects them in a tiny way, even if they can't meet, and even if Taita can't do anything more substantial for her. It really is a tiny connection. And yet, that's probably the best she can do for Rene right now, and she's determined to do it. She... I had no idea. She's such an idiot. How am I supposed to know you're shouldering something that heavy if you don't tell me? She's working on the project formally as an engineer, no different to Erica or me. My wife was the one who gave her permission. After she showed as much resolve as she did, it wouldn't have been fair of us to treat her like a child. You mind if I ask something? Where is that orbital gear thing now? Does that mean you're up for the job? Well, I can't walk the heck away. She might be... She might go doing something crazy again if I leave her alone. I see. <laughs> Albert was right about you, Agate. You do seem to have some promise. Wh what are you talking about? 
What did Gramps say? You will need this, incidentally. A gate received an identification card from Dan. Using this in the elevator will let you go to B5F of the building where the test will take place. Taita and Erica should be there. You're going to want to make sure you're ready if you do go though. Erica's been dead set on testing you. I couldn't care less what she wants. I'm just going to go help Taita with the tests. What anyone else does is none of my business. What about you, Dan? You ain't coming? Don't mind me. I'll be here. I'll be there. And just so we're clear, I haven't decided to accept you myself yet. Accept me as what? I guess this is the place? Wait, wait, is that it? That's all the checks on the legs complete. I guess I'll check the settings one more time too. I've got nothing to do till mum and dad come back, so I should make the most of it. Thought it was going to be an orbital cannon. Can't believe you're making a robot as nuts as this. A gate? What are you doing here? Is it because of mum? Did she ask you to come here? I I'm so sorry. Mum and dad seem to have got you all wrong. I keep trying to explain to them what you're really like, but they never listen to me. It's not a big deal. I ain't here because your mum asked me to come anyway. You're not? I... well... I heard you were working pretty hard down here, like as a proper engineer. So I figured I'd come and join you on my way of showing my support, I guess. Helping with these tests is an official request anyway, so it works out. <laughs> okay, let me give you a brief rundown of the orbital gear then. The prototype's most distinguishing characteristic is that the pilot can climb inside and operate it directly from within. It hasn't been decided for sure the final model will necessarily be like this though. Oh, and then there's how it reaches its maximum mobility. Come over here for a minute. Sh sure We've designed a new walking system to increase its mobility substantially, you see. Ordinarily, bipedal robots require two units that control the posture and centre of gravity which work in tandem with one another to walk. But this approach really drains system resources across the whole archaism. The way we've chosen to resolve this is... Uh huh? What, what the heck? M mum how long have you been there? So you've decided to assist with the tests, have you, Agate Krosner? You're so sweet. Does that mean you finally accepted your sins and have come to repent? I have no friggin' clue what you're talking about. You were trying to get close to Taita thinking I wasn't here, weren't you? Admit your sins and repent. I finally have first-hand evidence. For crying out loud, will you quit with the eyes? It's given me the creeps. He might be completely useless when it comes to technology, but he's got potential, don't you think? You might just be right. I have to admit, there were concerns. But I can appreciate that he at least tries to follow subjects he doesn't understand instead of outright refusing to listen to them. What are you two doing up there? Especially you, Dan. You were just up on the roof with me a minute ago. I did tell you I was going to watch the test, didn't I? Well, here I am. Uh, I can't work out what he's thinking any more than I can his wife. Don't you dare ignore me, Agate Krosner. Well, regardless, that's everyone gathered now. I suppose it's time for us to begin. Uh, um, uh, what are we doing? I finished all of the necessary final checks. Good girl, Titer. Let the testing begin. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with this family? Well, Taita, do you think you'll be able to operate it all right? Yep, I'll be fine. I've had plenty of practice. I'm ready to go as soon as everyone else is. 
Beginning monitoring. No problems in the data link. Looks like we're ready to go. Okay, Agape. We're now going to begin testing on the Orbital Gear version 0.5. You sure you're ready for this? Yeah, I am. I've come this far. I'm not going to turn tail now. I want you to promise one thing before we begin, though. The final test will be a mock battle between yourself and the Orbital Gear. If you cause Taita to have so much as the tiniest scratch on her, I'll be sending you to the Goddess personally. <laughs> I wouldn't go quite that far, but you get the idea. Don't hurt her, alright? I know, I know. I ain't gonna hold back, but I ain't gonna hurt her either. That's all I wanted to hear. Okay, for starters... Dan went around the gate and began attaching small quartz to various points on his body. What? what are you doing? Those are so that we can collect data from your body in real time during the testing process. This prototype's mobility should be about equal to your own, if not a little above what you're capable of. So this should be the perfect way to test what it can really do. Well, if that's your reason. You sure this isn't some form of harassment? <laughs> of course not. Right. Erica, if you would. Gladly. Boo! Ha! Ha! Yeah! Yeah! Shalom! Ah! What am I even watching here? That's Erica's success dance. She always does it before every big test or experiment. Sha! Alrighty, I'm ready. Setup complete. I can't believe you still do that after all this time. Huh, <sighs> it's not like it actually has any practical effect either. If you look at the data from all the tests she's done collectively, there's no difference in the odds of success whether she does it or not. Here, let me take care of that. Fire! Grr! As you can see, it's best to leave her alone when she gets all fired up like this. I'm feeling exhausted already and we haven't even started yet. The first test is a simple race. You're going to be doing three laps of the course, and the first to the finish line wins. There are obstacles in the way too, just so you know, be careful of those. Are you ready, Agate? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's get this started. I'm here for work, not to play. <laughs> so you are. Well, take your positions. Ready, go! What just happened? It flew! I I'm sorry, Agate, but Mum told me I had to finish the race by jumping over the finishing line all of a sudden. Hehehe. <laughs> I should have known. Mind you, it's not like jumping was against the rules of the race. And we wanted to collect the data from it too. I'd say you only got yourself to blame for getting cocky, wouldn't you? Ugh. Huh? What are we doing now? This is the test of the Orbital Gear's precision. What I want you to do is to place the four coloured drum cans on the corresponding tiles on the floor. It'll be harder than it looks, and don't assume this is going to be a snap. If I lose this, I'm never going to hear the end of how I'm a clumsy excuse for a human, am I? Alright, let's get started then. Begin. Heh, <laughs> piece of cake. Wow, we got some excellent data out of that. Well done, Titer. You did a wonderful job operating it. <laughs> the adjustments Dad made made all of the difference, really. His tuning of the actuators was perfect. I don't doubt that. He's always been good at handling these things. The arms have acceleration control now, too. 
Man, was there even any point in me being here if you're just gonna ignore me? Well, that test was just about collecting data. It didn't really matter who won. Still, that's not true for the next one. <laughs> now the real fun begins. Last test we're going to be performing is a mock battle to test the Albergear's overall capabilities. Take your positions, both of you. Okay, got it. We've been through this once before, but it bears repeating. Only aim for the Orbal Gear. If I find so much as a hair out of place on Titer, you will be very painfully executed on the spot. I know, I know, you don't need to keep stating the obvious. Are you ready? Yeah. Bring it on! Okay. So this should be fairly easy, I think. I think I basically I'm just trading blows. Well, that's not nice. Okay, go for an S craft. You ready for this? That wraps that up. Grr, grr. You cheated. You totally, totally cheated. Cheated? How? You're full of it. I am not. You use some kind of invisible special power. You must have. L like heck I did. Alright, alright. Well, I think it's only fair to call this a Gates victory. Okay, that was the last of the tests, right? Request fulfilled, then. My work here is done. Silly me, I nearly forgot, Dan. Didn't you say you wanted a one-on-one -on -one fight against this red-headed ruffian yesterday? Did I? Oh, right. I did. Cassis told me a little about him, so I'd like the opportunity at some point. Whoa, what? I have a bad, bad feeling about this. Heh, <laughs> you're the best. Go get your weapon. It doesn't necessarily have to be now. No, you're doing it now. No time to waste. Alright. I'll leave things here to you, Erica. Don't think this is going to be easy either. He might have been forced to retire because of an injury, but he's still very strong. He's the one who taught Cassius the basics of fighting with a staff ten years ago, even. Seriously? Cassius then went on to perfect the art of using one to fight himself, admittedly. But that should give you an idea of just how strong my awesome hubby is, surely. Heh, <laughs> I don't- now I really don't want to back down. Hey, wait a sec. The tests are over, my work is done. Why am I stuck doing another completely unrelated fight? Your work's not done until I say it is, bucko. Oh yeah, while we're waiting for Dan, I need to check Taita hasn't got any injuries. Because if she has, you know what's gonna happen. Come on down, Taita. Uh, um... What's wrong, sweetie? I kinda can't. Some weird errors come up and I don't know what to do. H huh? What what's going on? Uh, oh no. N no on it, no! Ah, no matter what commands I try to give it, it just won't respond. Shut it down, Titer! I, I can't! It won't do anything I tell it to! H hey, what's going on here? Explain this in a way I can understand. Uh, um, 
Ah. That tighter, what's going on? Have you lost control of it? I gate, I run. It's going crazy. We've got to protect Tider. Oh dear, it's doing more damage. Uh, craft. Attack delay. That is not good. Is that still too far away? I keep my health up as well. Almost there, just a couple more hits should do it. Oh, we did it. That should have saved her. You doing okay? I've stopped it moving. Come on out. I I can't. The seatbelt's stuck. Darn it. Thank goodness. Huh? Tighter! Ah. Ah. Phew, just in the nick of time. Are you two okay? Tighter and I are fine, but... Oh. A gate. A gate. A gate. No. No. This is all my fault. All because of me, you. I I'm so sorry. I'm always causing you nothing but trouble with my selfishness. If I just kept quiet, none of this would have happened. This is all my fault. All of it. If I hadn't said I wanted to get closer to Rene. I knew I couldn't really do anything for her. I knew this was just for my own satisfaction. This wasn't what I wanted to happen at all. I swear, this wasn't what I was trying to do by getting involved in this project. But, but... Yeah. G give it a rest, will you? My head's pounding enough without you crying. Oh? A, a game? It'll take more than that to finish me off. I figured you knew that. Ugh. Darn, though. That thing packs a punch. I'm lucky I was able to block the brunt of the impact with my sword. <laughs> if I hadn't, I'd probably have a date with the goddess right about now. <laughs> hey, I said I'm fine, alright? This is nothing. So stop your crying, alright? But, but, this is all because of me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm not going to do this anymore. I quit. So, so. Don't you dare give up, Titer. What? You heard me. Don't you dare just throw in the towel over something this small. You want to get closer to Rene, right? You want to understand her better, right? Then try and do it. Don't just give up at the first hurdle you come across. 
even when you get hurt? I've had a worthless ten years, Tida. I'm not going to deny that. But there was one thing I could never bring myself to do, and that was to throw this away. Never. But that's fine. Because this is why I'm the bracer that I am now. Plenty of folks have things that become such a big part of them, they can't bear to throw them away or leave them behind. Things that, no matter how much they try to forget, they just can't. I've got something like that. And I'm pretty sure you found something like that too, don't you? I... He's right. I... I really do. Um, a gate... I... I changed my mind. I won't give up. I don't have time to stand around crying. Not when I've got things I need to do. I'll think about what I can do, and I'm gonna do it. Because just like you're a bracer, I'm now a researcher. Really, now? A gate? It's nothing. What? What's with the faces? Uh, it's all starting to make sense now. See? I told you. He's rude, he's thick-headed, he's got all the tact of a wrench to the groin. But there's promise in him. That there is. The preparations for it aren't quite finished. But I think it's time we get to the second phase of testing our red-headed friend right away. The, the heck are you talking about? It looks like I underestimated you again. Titus seems to have come out of this unharmed just as you promised. Uh, oh. Yeah. I'd like you to come to our house this evening. Huh? I thought coming over for dinner was why I was here in Zeiss to begin with. You'll be more than welcome. What's going on with him all of a sudden? A, a gate? Um, thank you very much again for earlier. You ended up having to protect me again. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. S still, sorry, but I think I'm going to have to pass on Din. Today we're having a hot pot full of mushrooms and wild plants, and a soup with lots of seaweed. Mom and Dad finally seem to understand you better too, so this should be really fun. <laughs> Now we all get to enjoy a nice hot pot together. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Oh good, I was afraid they were going to skip over us finding out what happened at dinner. So that's what it was. I can't believe I didn't notice that when I was doing the final checks. This is all my fault. We don't know that for sure yet, Taita. Let's not jump to conclusions. No good comes from blaming yourself or feeling responsible before we know if you even had anything to do with it. Uh, okay. So still... Gah! Wh where the heck did this hammer come from? What's wrong with this place? Huh? That sounded like a gate. Really? Probably just your imagination. Maybe? That reminds me, he should be here any minute now. I'd better go and warm up the food. Whoa! Why'd a bunch of lances pop out of the ground? Um, Erica? I think lances may have been overdoing it a tad. At least stick with concealed holes in the ground, won't you? Ah! Um, how long are we looking at before he's able to make it here, might I ask? I was hoping to take this chance to have a man-to-man -man talk with him. <laughs> that only the goddess knows. Seems like he's putting up a good fight. But make no mistake, Agate Krosner. Our testing process has only just begun. Ah, that's it. Time to learn the S-Craft Orbal Gear. Nice.
Alrighty, well that's nice. Titus now got herself a new S craft. What? I don't see it there. Is that actually an equipment maybe? Okay, interesting. I don't know why we, I can't find it here. Oh well, I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. It's kind of weird. Oh well, uh, maybe it's like an actual craft instead of an S craft. And they just named it wrong. Anyway, thank you for watching everybody. I think that's uh, the time to end it there. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you know when the next episode's coming out. Feel free to leave a comment on the video and I will see you all on the next one. Bye bye for now.